Oh, hello everyone. I am Zill. CJ will be back shortly when he's done taking care of something in the kitchen. And we are going to play more Pokemon. So last time I went and beat up Team Rocket Space, but I still only have three badges. Also, I haven't been super good about... Never mind. I was gonna say I haven't been super good about taking Rattata with me on my walks, but apparently I have been. So... That's exciting. Yeah! So I think next step is going to be to go back to Lavender Town. Once Rattata has leveled up one level at a time, apparently. Okay. Super Fang. Goodbye, Tail Whip. Nobody uses that. And Rattata learned Super Fang, which is actually kind of a terrifying move if used correctly. Like, I already went through the whole level up process. <laughs> Alright, let's replace Bite. Yeah. This is our defense reducer. Also does damage much better. Tata grew to level already. I already watched all of this. Why is it making me? What's the power of this? 80 versus 80. Oh, that can cause flinching though. Uh, I forget focus energy. We're not doing crit build. Crit builds don't even make sense. I mean, that's not true. There are certain things they're good for. I have Super Fang. I don't need crits. Um. CJ. Sucker Punch or Quick Attack? Uh, I really like Sucker Punch. But Quick Attack's a classic, and it's hard to go around with Quick Attack. Yeah, Sucker Punch is much more powerful, but it doesn't work if they're not attacking me. I'm just gonna go with Sucker Punch. Because it also gets stabbed, so I think it's worth it. Almost there. Okay. And now we're gonna get to watch it evolve, and then potentially learn another move or 12. Hooray! Final. got bigger. I assume that Pokemon get bigger when I evolve them, but I appreciate that it felt the need to point that out for me. Also, what is the walked together stat? Is that steps? I assume it's steps. Alright, CJ. I just realized you can't use that controller. We had this problem last time. I got them all set up, and I gave them the wrong controller. Sorry. No betrayed. That's pretty fair. When do I get fly? I mean, actually, in Gen 1, it's not that inconvenient to just walk everywhere because there's this nice central area. Oh, hi! It's okay, you can teleport. You're never okay, going the wrong okay. way. So the controller for this is really weird because it doesn't actually want you to use it sideways. It wants you to use it standing up. Yeah, because it wants you to use the motion controls. 
And as far as I know, there's no way to disable that, but I didn't look too much into it because it's like the only wild battle mechanic in the game, so why would I turn it off? Yeah, I mean, I'm not really complaining per se, I just thought I always think it's really interesting. Yeah. That's fair. So I, always, right. I always end up like using this controller the wrong way around, and I'm like, why am I going the wrong? I'm not pushing that way. Am I going to have another rival battle? I already did the Pokemon Tower rival battle. I'll let you lead the way. Do you want to go with me? Okay, you're in charge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just admit you're scared. Just admit you're too scared to go in the, the Pokemon graveyard. Well, on the bright side, we already cleared all of the trainer battles. So this will be easy enough. Oh, now I can catch ghosts. All right, let's catch some ghosts. Oh, they disappeared. That was disappointing. Like, hey, there's a haunter. It's gone now. You're welcome. They're not interested in haunting me if I can see them, apparently. It's magic. Mm -hmm. Wow, direct attack on the hearts, you know? They just... I mean, I guess there's no battles. And since you couldn't catch it, but like... I felt very anticlimactic. It was still a very direct attack on the heart. It was. Aha! Wow, rare candy! Oh. Oh, goodbye gasoline. That's why you disappeared. Did it kick you out? Is that why? I, I don't know. I was posting to, to the book face that we're streaming. Okay. Well, thanks for posting to the book face. Oh, nope. Looks like I have 
two Pokemon, so you must be here. Uh, I don't think Ekans is ready for this fight. I don't think Zubat's ready for this fight. Um, Arcanine's probably ready for this fight. A little underleveled, but that's okay. Uh, no, I'm- why am I in charge of both of them? It's fine. fine. Alright, well, CJ's posting anyway, so... switched in and has just been pummeled. Oh wow. Psyduck. Did what? I didn't know that was in this game. I and mean, I guess that makes sense. Why would they remove it, right? But I didn't know that was in this game. And CJ, should I swap out Psyduck? Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, how's this fight going? Um, well, like this. Uh, so, so, so you mean to say that you kick him butt? Sure. I mean, I will eventually win this fight. It's just a little slow. I have one of them burned, so all I have to do is keep healing Pidgeot, which it has a healing move, so. Okay. I was going to say you can't poison Arcanine because he's paralyzed, but it didn't matter. I don't feel like it's a good use of my items to do anything about the other poisoning. Because it's probably just going to happen again. I seem to go first, so let's do this. Oh, look at that. Should have just done that him. instead of trying to keep Pidgeot alive. Because Pidgeot would not have taken so much damage if I had just done that. Alright, battle's over now. For a second, I thought the burn did one damage. He's gonna be kind of sad if that happened.
What a fantastic name for your operation. You are good at literally no part of your job. Very low-key name, you know. Right? Let's go catch Snorlax. Hooray, Snorlax. So it looks like maybe in the key battles I just don't get to participate? Yeah, it seems like it started removing you from the story fights, which makes sense. But against Team Rocket it doesn't even matter because I get two Pokemon either way. Yeah. Alright. I'll, I'll just save when I get to Snorlax instead of saving right here. Snorlax! Oh, so we did find end up finding those Snorlax plushies, and they're super on Deep Cell, and but we didn't get them. And now they're no longer on Deep Cell. It's true. sure this place is a shortcut if I know how to get around it. I don't, I don't even remember what Pokemon I have, but I seem to have been here rather thoroughly, so I'm just going to assume I have them. And if not, I'm not really too concerned. Why um, does that Geodude have the special aura around him? It Where's means that? he's small. Oh, interesting. And Machops means he's large. Yeah. Okay. I don't think I have a gold bet. Come here. Come here. Okay, let's go. Fight me. Wow, I'm such a good shot. Why does that not count? Good job, CJ. Because <laughs> I wasn't yeah, gonna yeah. get it. Apparently not. Oh no! Oh, no. Trade. Trade. Oh, nope. Okay. Wow. I'm supposed to be able to, like, Put a direction. There we go. Wow. Oh, we, we did it. the weird fusion dance. Weird, weird fusion <laughs> dance. <laughs> wow, well, Ekans leveled up and learned glare, which is actually not a bad move. Um. Does acid poison things? No, it does not. Yeah, I'm gonna go check the bread. Okay. And since I have simply caught a gold bat, um, I'll let this poor Zubat do something other than suffer every time it goes into battle. Ugh. Sort by Pokedex number. Okay. 
I already had a gold bed. I just wasn't sorting correctly. Wow, I can switch Zubat out for something even lower level, which I guess I'm going to do. It's not all that different, though. Um... Where's... Okay, Ekans can still give me Pokedex data. That's good. See, I thought I had some of these. Apparently I was just not sorting correctly. Oh well. This was not a shortcut because I'm lost. Um, it stops being a shortcut if you don't know where you are. Not only do I not know how to get to where I'm trying to go, I don't know how to get back to where I came from. Okay, this one goes up again. So that must go outside. Haha! -ha! Did I end up on the... Yes, I did. Alrighty. Good job, Evie. This is the route I wanted, isn't it? Bonnie, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, nope. I wanted to go south from Lavender Town. Okay, then. Um, back through the tunnel. Since I was lost in the tunnel so that I could be lost outside the tunnel. Hooray, getting lost! It's my favorite pastime or something. You know where you're going? No, I don't. So if you have any suggestions, <laughs> then I'm open to them. <laughs> Is this where I came from? I think so, yeah. Oh, shoot. Okay. Um... Left? So, so left, left was that dead, dead, end. dead end, right? I don't know. I thought up was a dead end. Oh, hello, Onyx. I think I have an Onyx. Um... I think this is a circle. Oh, nope. Okay. Okay, I thought that was where I came from. Alright, CJ says go right, we go right. Down? Down the ladder? Yes. Okay. This is where we saw those that that glowy onyx that's small and the large and the chop. Okay. I don't know how you recognize these places. They're all just rocks. We're going up? Okay. Okay. I think this is... Oh, there we go. Thanks! Alright, all of that was so that we can... Go south. Hooray, Sooth! Okay. Mount. How do you mount? It's just automatic. So apparently only I can do it. Which is kind of silly. You know, I can teleport and you can't, so, you know. Yeah. That's... That's true. Um, I can't surf yet, so I can't get to that item. 
after Snorlax, we should go back to Cerulean and get Squirtle. Because I think the acquisition is based on yellow, and I should be able to acquire Squirtle now. Okay. I'm going to save so that I don't lose my only chance at Sno Snorlax. And hello, Snorlax! Wake up. Good morning. It's music time. What's happening? I get to battle it. It mistook me for food. It's a bear. I don't think that's a mistake. <laughs> it's just a decision. <laughs> oh, this poor bear thought you were food. No, the poor bear decided I was food. The bear was not wrong in this decision. Match time is ticking down. What? I want a timer? Uh. Well, then I should switch to something that does more damage. Wow, it's not even a turn timer. That's kind of mean. Can we not just use Pokeballs? Or? No. We have to battle it, and then that changes how easy it is to catch. Okay. Don't do that. This is why I paralyzed you. Alrighty. he did it when he had relatively low damage. Yeah, that's fair. It just removed the paralysis too, which is a little annoying. I was hoping that would buy us some time. Alright, it's gonna wake up and use rest. I know that's what's about to happen. I guess we're both faster. That makes sense. Yeah, now we get to try to catch it. What?! So when it's yawning, I can't catch it? That's like all it does, is yawn. Okay. Well, I think we got that at both times, or all three times, but it was, like, yeah. not cooperating. Nice. We now have a Snorlax. Very exciting. job is not to be strong. It's to make everyone else suffer. Okay, I'm gonna go check that bread again. Probably just pull it so that it doesn't burn. But... Yeah. That's fair. Alright. 
There are probably other Pokemon that will attack trainers. You mean like every Pokemon in the series before this game? Alright, what's to the south? Any items? There's a trainer. Oh boy. I was not paying enough attention. Okay. I'm just gonna grab CJ's controller since he is away doing the important things and sure oh well that was rude poor Psyduck this is what I get for grabbing CJ's controller I get his Pokemon knocked out That's one of his favorites. Here. Yeah, that was a brilliant idea. Why don't I just send out this Arcanine against this water type? Good going. That's okay. Um, what, what moves do you have? Let's go with fight. Wow. And that's gonna hit both of them. Chomp. Go team chomp. I do feel like this game has made some effort to, throughout the game, kind of increase the difficulty. Not to say that it is difficult. Why you gotta crit my Arcanine? Poor Arcanine. Um, if I can survive, he'll level up. And at this point I have to go back to the Pokemon Center anyway, so why not? Let's just go for it. Uh, but they have at least been gradually introducing things like moves that hit both opponents. And as far as enemy teams go, which I think is good. Let's let's get to a Pokemon Center. Let's go heal up. Oh, Arcanine's knocked out, but he's gonna 
carry us all the way there. What a champion. What a trooper. I've never battled this person? How have I not battled everyone here? Oh my goodness. Do I always turn off lights? I don't know. What? Uh, good options here, do I? Let's use stun spore. Go activate. Stun spore. Oh. Of course. How could I forget? It can't be paralyzed. Okay. Wow. <laughs> that was brutal. <laughs> Man, okay. Oh. This is also gonna be brutal. Goodbye, Voltorb. Significantly less brutal. It's still kind of bad. is evolving! Well, well that's exciting. There are six variations of Arbok. Neat. I was actually not trying to select that, I just kept bumping the stick every time I tried to tell it no. Keep flinch move. Okay. Wow, Chansey! I don't know if I have one of those. You wanna catch a Chansey? Yeah. Also, sorry, I accidentally did a couple battles without you. That's fine. I was freeing the bread so we could start the next one. Oh, thanks! I'm going to try some of this banana bread. Not what I meant to do, but this may actually be helpful, so let's use it. This is good. How much longer did you put it in there? About 30 minutes. Jeez. So an hour and a half instead of an hour? Oh, goodbye, Chansey. What a ninja. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we really need to go to the Pokemon Center. Um. Oh! I already have Squirtle. What do you mean I already have Squirtle? Didn't see him in my box. I do have Squirtle. So, so where's Squirtle? 
Just right there. I just didn't look at him. That's all. Don't mind me. Good job. Thanks. Anyway, I just came to this town because it was the closest Pokemon Center. Um... What happened was I ran into a fisherman and made all kinds of terrible decisions. Like, oh, the low-level Pokemon are, are having trouble. Let me send an Arcanine. W why did I send an Arcanine? Well, Arcanine's here now. Um, that was kind of that whole battle. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. When you were fighting water Pokemon, you brought out Arcanine? Yeah, it. I, I said it wasn't a good decision. That's funny. Good job. Thanks. So, basically I put down like half our team on this random fisherman. He's the move deleter. What? What do you mean you're not the move deleter? I see. I am very confused by that whole exchange. That existed solely to confuse me. Yep, they, they, they called me and they're like, what's the best way to confuse Zell? And I was like, let me tell you a thing. But really, he talks like all of the move deleters do, and then they're like, Who am I? And you tell him the move deleter, and he goes, No, I'm not. Like, how would you even know? Oh, this poor kid. Well, that's what he gets for challenging both of us. I feel like this is a very kid thing to do where these two ten-year-olds are hanging out and a younger kid comes up and is like, I want to battle you at Pokemon. And so both the older kids are like, okay, we get to fight you simultaneously. put crumbs in your keyboard directly. I didn't really mean to. It may seem like the optimal move, but I promise it's not. Trust me, it didn't seem like any kind of optimal move. I like how the way Psyduck looks when he casts Psybeam, because it's kind of like, I have a headache, let me share my headache with you.
Wow, Paris leveled up. Poor Psyduck. Oh man, that was more poison damage than I kind of expected. You want Arcanine? Sure. <clears throat> Him, I did. You did. Good job. That's what he gets. Now that he's cooking, I'm gonna chew on him. Mm -hmm. The camera angle they've given us just like completely blocks the enemy. It's kind of amazing. I don't think I should be allowed any big Pokemon since I'm on the right side of the screen. <laughs> it is kind of funny though. <laughs> like, move Arcanine, it can't see the enemy. What's happening? Yeah. Are we winning? <laughs> Are we winning? What's what move is he using? Why did you fall over? <laughs> what Pokemon is that? I don't even know. Wow, an awakening. When I was originally playing the games, I always found it frustrating that I couldn't just buy an awakening to wake up Snorlax. Oh yeah, no, I that that's the first thing I tried. I kept, I kept, like, trying to figure out how to use it. I yeah, spent yeah. a solid amount of time just trying to figure out, okay, how do I use the Awakening on the Pokemon in front of me? But the joke was on us, you can't. Uh-huh. Although, it's not as bad as some RPGs where that kind of thing happens, but it, if you hit use, it automatically uses it on the first party member. Because that's my favorite, is when somebody's like, bring me a potion! So I bring them a potion and use the potion, because when I talk to them, they won't take it. And I was like facing the wrong way, and now I've used it on the first party member. Yeah, no, and I, I don't have that. it anymore. No, I've done that kind of thing before too, and like, well, you know what game does that that isn't even like a, a like real RPG per se is uh, Stardew Valley does that. Oh yes, remember that one time <laughs> when I was trying to open a chest and I dropped a bomb on the ground, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I was like, you know what, CJ, let's just start this day over now. I don't think I want to continue this anymore if I have to keep that. Yeah, because we were trying to do a dungeon or something, or like, I don't remember. I was just, like, organizing my inventory, and so I had a bomb oh, yeah. on my toolbar because I was trying to put it in this chest. I go to open the chest, but the use and interact buttons are the same, which I really wish I could assign them separately if I'm on the keyboard, but... I accidentally dropped the bomb in front of me and blew up my chest, its contents, a bunch of crafting stations. Like, it was just a mess. But fortunately, it was the very beginning of the day, so we just reset. That's right, I remember that. I was. No, because it was like the first thing, because you go over there and you tinker with the, the crafting mm -hmm. station, and all of a sudden, I just hear, um, can we just reload? <laughs> <laughs> 
Now, the game that did it the most to me, though, was Zelda. Which, I guess, isn't one game. But there are those kinds of quests with the potions and stuff. And it's not always the same between games how you do it. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. I think the healing move well, is I'm gonna better. I'm going to go fill up our waters and stuff so we have beverages. So. Oh, thanks. Yep. I got a water stone. Um, who should I use it on? I'll save that battle for when CJ gets back so he can participate. Meanwhile, I will look for more items on the ground. where I am. I know this place. This might start a battle. Well, I guess we'll find out. Ha! Ah, escaped. Um. Oh, he's almost back. Let's go. Let's go back. To all the things that I skipped. This way. Oh, that's just you. I was like, how did I get past this trainer before? Didn't have to, that's the answer. You're a ninja, that's how. Alright. I was looking for items so that you could participate in this. I'm gonna fight the Coach, that's that's their trainer class is coach. So far, this game is a lot less guilty of the like non sequitur trainer intros. Yeah, I feel like last time you said that was followed by an NPC saying something really bizarre though. Yeah, but I don't know. Like in Pokemon Shield, it's like every fight is just. You know, like, beautiful day we're having, battle music. <laughs> and I'm just like, dude. I feel like S.H.I.E.L.D. in particular embraced a lot of the weirdness of Pokemon. Because you also have, like, all the gym leaders, even in the older games, have some pretty bizarre outfits when you actually think about it. Like, I can see somebody wearing this in certain scenarios, but it's kind of weird type things. But in Sword and Shield, they really... Oh, you're using that. I can't use that. They really went all out with, like... What if we had this guy wear a jersey and a cape? And this guy is dressed up, like, halfway like a Dragonite, but not really. And, um... Yeah. I'm still disappointed that I can't dress up in terrible Pokemon fashion because it's right? great. Wow, that, that guy got wrecked. <laughs> Destroy him! Yeah!
No. Burr, can I? It's okay. It's he's just bad. taking a nap. Oh. He needs it. Well, he was worried about you, so he stopped taking a nap. That's what I mean, though. He's so busy worrying about me, he could really use a nap. Mm -hmm. And it's Cliff Fable's not having a good day. Krabby? Should we get that Krabby? Let's see if we have a Krabby. I have no idea. Pretty sure we have a Bill Strout. Well. Man, I didn't even get a chance to throw. Good job. Good job. Thanks. Aha, we did not have one. That one, that one was kinda... I gave my Pokemon quick candy! Battle! Oh. Okay. I thought you were gonna give me some candy to give to my Pokemon? Right? <laughs> Sandshrew learned Earthquake betterly. Let's, uh... Oh, it's 37. Never mind. I misread its level. Everything makes sense now. I was gonna say, it's not really that early. I read 27, which is very different. It's true. I, I kind of suspected that's what happened. just told me she hasn't gotten any attention all day. Well, that's obviously true. Oh, what? I thought I... Yep. Oh, for some reason I thought I selected, even though, in retrospect, I know I didn't. So, that was special. I see. I planned my turn so hard that um, I completed it. I kind of thought these guys would battle us together. I'm told I'm good for a kid. See, at least that has something to do with battling. 
The last one is, I gave my Pokemon Quick Candy! Okay, do you hand out Quick Candy? No, I fight people. No, I hand out battles! That's uh, not the same thing, kid. Uh -huh. uh, what? I'm a chew on this plant. Uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Man. I don't... I understand moving away from games being as grindy as they used to be, but I actually felt like this region isn't very grindy and it just keeps up the pace enough that it actually stays on level, whereas the newer games, I feel like I'm out leveling everything and I have to constantly switch out my team not to be like 10 or 20 levels past everything I'm doing. No, I, I agree. Like in Shield, I've I've gone through probably two, maybe th almost three main teams because I keep leveling up my Pokémon to the point where I'm just like what's even the point? Or to the point where I'm like, "Uh, oh, this Pokémon levels one more time, it's not going to listen to me." Yeah, I had that problem too, but at least that was- I had imported Pokémon, which for experience counts as trading them. So, they were leveling up faster than usual. Which is a little bit of my problem, but also just- Oh, you don't- you don't want to battle? Oh, now you want to battle. You have to talk to him. He's he's an introvert. I, I think the other people are more introvert. You looked at me. I'm offended. I'm going to fight you now. This guy's like, oh, that person looked at me. Hi, person. Okay. I was well, kind of wondering I'll... why you picked that one. I'm, I was trying to resurrect Psyduck so I could use Switch to and use it. Uh... But. The water move. I see. Well, uh. Lynn has a fighting move. Okay. You're in charge. Oh, sorry. I assume you want that and not be half a lie of level 23 weak to everything this thing does. <laughs> All right. Okay. I 
I'm gonna double kick him again. Double kick. But poor guy. Getting kicked all the time. Oh boy. Double kick is still good because it's a steel type. Okay. They kept the uh, type update. Because that's how paralysis works. It's true. <clears throat> you just get over it, you know? You just walk it off. I think it could be really fun to build a module that's based on Pokemon for a system. Like a tabletop module? Yeah. Yeah. And you already have turn-based combat. And if you want, you can base everything off of Mystery Dungeon. So then you already have a combat system designed for a square grid. Yeah. So really, all you have to do is write down the rules. You don't even really have to design anything on your own. You might want to change up the rules for things like recruiting. Because they're not super human friendly to calculate. Yeah, I mean, you, you change up the rules for like capturing Pokemon and training and all that stuff a little bit. Just to be, make it a little easier. But, yeah. But <clears throat> Like in Pathfinder, as an example, you have the Summoner, and I feel like you could adapt that class to, like, that class's rules into something that would work for Pokemon. Yeah, I have a, like, Soul Stealer archetype in progress. I'm not really in progress because I'm not working on it anymore, but I have a draft of one. Just kind of did it for fun. Yeah. Well, what? What is that? Get over here. Stubborn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that was me that totally missed. I was gonna ask what you were doing because I'm pretty sure it wasn't me. Oh, you know, just being a dweeb. 
All right, we got the super fancy combo again, so... Oh, come on, dude. Oh, that's okay. Pretty sure I have a bell sprout. So if we really want... We can evolve that later. Right now, I need to let my current team catch up, though. Um... I'm gonna go down first. Because I think up is actually the way out. Fly is somewhere near here. Prepare to get racked, Evie. Why would it use Helping Hand? I don't know why they would even give it Helping Hand. It obviously didn't originally have Helping Hand. Why did they... That's so weird. Why would you do that? should have switched out. Poor Snack. I kind of just thought that you would, like, one-hit the Persian before it got its turn with how much damage that bird does. Yeah. Your team is in rough shape. It is. We should probably just get to town. can come back and finish clearing the route once we've healed up. Pokemon. Okay. Apparently, I always go with paralyzed Pokemon, so. I just. Sure shows you! <laughs> and I'll still win, so, you know, whatever. Oh, I used a Doo Duo for a while when I first played this game 10,000 years ago. For this hey. region. I had a lot of trouble finding one. Well, Rip Lynn, I guess. Jesus. So, I guess my question is... Are Pokémon actually so terrifying? That if paralyzed, they can force themselves to continue to move about. And the healthcare in this world is so terrifying that they can just cure paralysis in like five minutes. Or does this cause significant confusion when trying to talk about a Pokemon that is actually legitimately paralyzed and not like battle paralyzed? Uh, probably causes legitimate confusion. Okay. I could see it being the first one, though. Because Pokemon are kind of terrifying if you look at what they're capable of. Oh no, absolutely. Pokemon in general, 
I bet, I, I, yeah, I, I don't know, like, Pokemon in general don't really follow, like, the rules of physics or, like, biology as we know it at all, so... Well, you can get that Pokeball now. Yep. Get wrecked, Crowley. Yeah. And we're gonna beat up Nidorino too. That poor Nidorino. He didn't Reno. Huh? He didn't know. That one was a stretch. I'm all about stretches. They're good for you. Oh my goodness. They sure are. What, what else is back here? Why is it letting me just walk the whole way in this direction? Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure I have to fight that person, don't I? Oh, nope. I can go this way. Put this person face away. Put him face away again. Okay. Got it that time. Just had to, you know, make a reasonable attempt instead of just running around. Oh, poor CJ's stuck on a wall back there. Wait, how far is it? To the Pokemon Center. Beats me. Speed combo we got going on with the quick mm -hmm. attack and stuff. I always thought this bird was like the ugliest. Hero? Yeah. It's definitely not the prettiest. Which made me sad because I really liked his two previous. Yeah, I really like Spiro. But then Hero has the whole like. I mean. It sure looks like what some birds actually look like, so I can't complain, but... I mean, honestly, in the, in the 3D, this 3D model of him looks better than I felt like he looked in 2D yeah. when I was playing him 10,000 years ago. Still pretty ugly, but like, a reasonable kind of ugly. Technique, chop down tree. I think that's called carrying an axe. Um, that was almost a battle. Okay. Oh, 
she facing away, but it was still scary. Uh, I need to go back up. That's annoying. Why are there so many of you guys? Okay. I'm not even sure I'm worried about coming back through and fighting everyone because I have a feeling I'll have to come back through whether I do it now or later. Yeah. Loading screen. Oh, there we go. Wow! Look at all these rare Pokemon! I thought Kangaskhan was super cool. Me too. I also always thought it was funny that Kangaskhan learned Substitute. Because Substitute looks like baby Kangaskhan. Yeah. yeah. Like, go child! Just, just be my meat shield for a couple turns. Wait, hold on. Um... Wow! Alright, I got the actual item for Surf. I'm assuming that I still need to do this to get the other Surf. But I also know it works a little different, so let's go heal up and figure out what's gonna happen. Oh yeah, we can do a gym. Uh, let's let's do the safari first, though. I always hated how you have to come around to the side to get to the Pokemon Center in the gym. Like, why is why aren't there stairs just on this right side here? I mean, it looked like there were. I'll show you in a second. So there are stairs going to the south. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. No, there are stairs on the right. You just can't get to them from over there because there's that mountain or something right there, cliff. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, why didn't the city put stairs there? It's such an obvious spot for stairs. They just want to make sure everybody gets their steps, you know? Those Fitbit fanatics. It's a rock. You kicked a rock. What are you doing? Okay, cool. Um... Thanks! That was bizarre. I like how they just, like, consistently don't recognize you. Oh, they recognized me! Well, that was well, the best part. they said whoever you are. Oh, well, they, they said twerp, so are. I assumed that that was directed at the same person uh, each maybe. time. But, no, you're probably right. I also like how they're like, Man, I wish we found something valuable, and then they find solid gold teeth, and they're like, Nah. Yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. That's, not, that's the, not valuable. These chunks of gold, those won't sell for very much. This is why you're broke. This is the reason. Alright, let's figure out how all this is gonna work.
Um, okay, I'll have to set that up later. Because I don't really keep extras in Go. Because I don't have very much storage space left. Um, so how do I learn how to surf on water? To the gym it is! Oh, wait, what's this? Safari zone. I saw an item. It's more important than talking to people. I was fooled! I saw out of the corner of my eye not an item, but a Voltorb. Those are like the same thing, right? Is the warden just in town now? Or do I need to go play Pokemon Go, send Pokemon to myself, and then ignore the Pokemon to go find the warden? I have no idea. Okay. Neat. <laughs> so that's how you learn surf. Got it. Yeah. Not really how I was expecting that to go down. Um, I also need strength. Maybe that's what I talked to the warden for? I think there's two HMs in this city. really high. Okay then. Is Route 12 the one we were just on? Yeah, that's where the weird guy was. Who was the not a moved leader? Okay. I already talked to you, didn't I? Where is the warden? I don't know.
he's at home. Okay. a big slab there. Oh, wow. Go Lin. Right? Okay. Um... I guess we will do the gym, since that was much less of an endeavor than I expected. I always get lost in the safari, and I have to do it several times to find any of the HM. My gym. I see. Let's battle you. The little outlines are also nice. Did a good job with the fog effect thing going on. Yeah. I think they always had outlines of some kind, but they look good. CJ can't participate in the gym? Man. I mean, I guess not. That's alright. CJ's just been effectively removed from the game. Okay, well, this is, uh, pretty much how all the other battles have been going. Also, the trainers here now actually have poison-type Pokémon. Whereas I seem to remember most of them having Mr. Mime or something.
Oh, jeez. We'll actually have to care what my opponent's doing now. Oh, that's bad. Oh. Good job, Pidgeot, but also that's, again, terrifying. Yeah, that seems fair. Just wait to use protect until I'm attacking you. I don't know how you know. I mean, really, it was not that bad of a chance that it would happen, but it is a little annoying. Rude. I'm trying to beat you up. Stop doing that. early to heal myself. This is the only thing that makes any sense to do. I guess I could use agility just in case the next one is faster. Okay. There we go. No, this is a good matchup. Beedrill, time to die. Oh my goodness. CJ, do you see this? Beedrill's using protect? Yes. Both of this kid's Pokemon. Which makes more sense with the toxic strategy because then you just let toxic do all the work. But on. Makes considerably less sense because it didn't use Toxic again. After I expelled the poison, it was just like, okay, well, that's fine. You actually can't poison this Pokemon. It'll tell you that you poison Pidgeot, but there will be no poison a turn later. Which is great! Yeah! Feels a little unfair, but it's pretty great for me. Oh, hi. Now you're allowed to battle? That's so weird. Know, let's find out. Or did it just let you follow me? That's bizarre. I think because, okay. like, if I'm not, like, super active, then it disconnects me. And oh, I see. When I get left behind in town and stuff, I just, like, stop moving because, like, otherwise I'm just, like, running around. I can't keep up with you because you auto mount on Sorry. Arcanine. It's fine. It's not your fault. It's a flaw with the strange multiplayer in the game. Yeah.
Oh man. Do you want to take bets on what his third Pokemon is? No. Sorry, what? So, do you want to take bets on what his third Pokemon is? Oh. <laughs> Probably not. Wow, who could have guessed? I'm shocked. Psyduck's gonna love, uh, evolve soon. Yes, and then we'll have a gold duck. Mm hmm. Your turn. Thanks. Thanks. Peace. Wow. That was rude. Poor Psyduck. I'm gonna send Parison because you will get experience point. Okay. And Pidgeot is so much faster than everything else, but... Yeah. It is your turn. Wreck them. Who wants to learn Slash? I don't know how I didn't guess that. Do you want it to learn Slash? Uh, I, I mean, Slash is a pretty decent move. It, uh, give it some diversity. Yeah. It's kind of on you. It looks like you're designing him to be a bad day Pokemon, and he has that in spades right now. It's true. Pretty much whatever bad day I need to have. It's weird, because I usually design it as my Pokemon catcher. But that's not really a thing in this game. Wait, which way I'm supposed to be going? Let's go over here. Supposed to be a let's go Eevee, but really it's let's go Pidgey. <laughs> Eevee is no longer the star of the show. Sorry, Eevee. Got him. Yeah. Wait, what's next? Oh, there uh, is another, another Pokemon. Yep. I just, for some reason, thought that was the second one, and also that there were only two. 
I'm like a battle behind or something. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. <laughs> wow, rude. Right. Pretty sure I'm supposed to spiral into I haven't battled you yet. Come here. How do how do I get to this person? I have to battle everyone else in the gym first. Can't talk to you yet. Correct. Right. <laughs> what did you descend from? Uh Great question. Ask me something else. Pokemon. Yes. Did I, did I see it's an Ivysaur that we're fighting? Mm -hmm. Oh man, this poor Ivysaur right now. Raggedy Rex. Dang. Almost got him. I'm gonna I'm gonna heal up. Those battle heals like skills are pretty handy. Mm-hmm. 
They're usually a really solid amount of HP, too. Like, a third or a half or something. Yeah. Alright, now I can battle Koga. Hello! That's annoying. I thought he was gonna go make copies of himself around the gym, and I was gonna have to hunt them down until I found the right one or something annoying. But no, he's just yeah. showing off. Yeah, yeah. Alright, everybody does their best. Put him to sleep. I'm sure nobody has noticed this, but I like making the little cat dance. <laughs> I'm running out of power points here. Let's okay. go, Pidgeot. No, it's not. Wait, we both survived. Everything's okay. Lynn might need some help, but we both yeah. survived. Not who I tried to select. Here we go. Here's an Arcanine. Can you go back? I miscut. Back? Yeah. I was trying to attack and then I mm. bumped the stick because the stick is also the A button on my controller. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Let's cook some sludge. Never mind. Let's lose a turn. Hooray. Toxic, though, which is the TM you get from this gym, is the best TM in the entire game. First of all, it's just a really good move, but also everything can learn it. Like, it's on every single Pokemon's TM learns HUD. Yeah. That's gonna take him out, isn't it? Oh! Wow! Nice. Hooray! Good job, Arcanine. Guess I better heal. 
probably. Unless you want to use Arbok. And I'm running out of damaging moves. Oh, they got a lot of HP. Um, I guess I'm gonna heal myself. Since there's nothing else I can do, because I'm probably faster than it. Raggedy wrecked. Well, only option. That's fine. I'll revive. Try to revive something. Okay. Here, let me actually do some healing since I don't have any chance of doing anything else useful this turn. Use an ether on, on Pidgeot. Oh, that's a good idea. I was just thinking because of speed. I kind of forgot that I was out of power points, not gonna lie. I was just like, oh, I can't hit with wing attack because it's gonna dodge it. No, you can't hit with wing attack because you can't use it at all. Right. <laughs> Wow, go our buck. I don't know how you avoided that attack, but you sure did. <laughs> that was pretty great. This Finamoth is dead. Yeah, it is. Just D E D dead too. Never mind. One oh, turn, no, and then this Finamoth is dead. My protect's gonna cancel it. Huh? Right? Your what? Uh, never mind. I thought it would only protect the next move, not the entire turn. No, yeah, it's the turn. Alright, we have been streaming for a couple hours, and this is a good stopping point. So I'm going to go heal up, and then that'll be all we do for tonight. Bam! Just high five or hotel. <laughs> Alrighty. Bye.
I, that's not the I am piecing out personally because I'm going to go check on the banana bread that's been in the oven. So catch you all later. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Or if you're watching this down the road, thanks for hanging out and watching. Yeah. Cheers. Yes, and I am also logging off. So I also thank everyone for watching, and we will see you next time. So I will be back on Sunday, same time. And CJ will be streaming probably tomorrow, but also starting around the same time throughout the week. And we will catch you all later.